Okay, so here's the truth. Um, some things have been happening lately. A, a lot of people, a couple of people, however many, whatever the fuck, have been messaging me and, and, and kind of wondering if I'm okay and, and, and everything because I'm just not as happy as I was um, probably about a week ago. And um, I'm fine. I'm going to live. But um, I feel like if I'm not going to give 100%, uh, I should at least let you guys know why. Um, they don't want to address it, so I'm going to address it. Um, as a couple of you uh, very dedicated subscribers know, I had to kick my girlfriend out a long time ago. Probably sometime before Thanksgiving, somewhere along those lines, mid-November-ish, four and a half months ago or some shit. So I kicked her out. Um, a lot of people, they didn't know why. Um, well, essentially for seven so years or whatever, um, I have been dealing with her kind of just kind of fucking around on me, um. You know, she would text other guys, and, and, and other guys would text her, and just, you know, simple shit that got under my skin, but it wasn't a deal breaker, you know? I'm not going to control her. Um, I'm not going to tell her what she can and cannot do, who she can and cannot speak to. Um, but, you know, they would they would text her things like, oh, I think you're cute, and blah, 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 and da, 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 instead of defending my name, and, you know, I was like, oh, I have a boyfriend, uh, she would just be like, oh, okay, you know, it's all right, okay, and she would continue to text them, and blah, 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 and she would say things about them, whatever, it really wasn't that big of a deal to me, um, she, uh, the reason why I had to kick her out, she crossed the line, um, like I said, for seven years I had been dealing with it, I figured when we moved, things would be different, they weren't, um, she likes to call me a piece of shit, and, you know, tell me that I told her what she can and cannot do and and what she could and could not wear, which is not the truth. Um, I merely made suggestions. Um, you know, if a, if a guy had texted her or whatever, I would merely tell her, like, hey, you know, maybe you should mention you have a boyfriend. I mean, that would make a lot of sense. Um, and then she used to have... Um, Snapchat, you all know about it, and on Snapchat, you can have hidden messages, hidden conversations, and then, you know, you can send pictures that go away after whatever the fuck Snapchat does, I don't have a Snapchat, I really don't care about it, um, well, I, I, she would fuck around on that a lot, she would text a lot of other people, and whatnot, so I told her, you know, I didn't tell her she couldn't have it, because I'm not going to control you, um, it's up to you, I told her, you know, if you continue to use that app, we can't be together, point blank period, um, you know, you can't have a boyfriend and then expect to just talk to every other guy because you want attention, um, you know, that's, that's not how this goes, um, she then deleted it, and then, you know, she likes to talk about how she can have Snapchat now because she doesn't have a piece of shit boyfriend or an asshole boyfriend, it is what it is, um, I figured that would happen, um, I don't talk shit about her because I'm not that kind of person, even though I very could, I very, you know, I, I, I could, because, you know, she likes to claim, I'll get into what she claims later, but I, I could talk shit about her. Because she was not at all a great person. Um, and I should have seen that from the jump. But I, I let her fucking stay with me for like seven fucking years, almost. And, um, you know, I, I treated her fairly well. I mean, you know, there were times, obviously there were times we got in arguments. Every fucking relationship gets in arguments. And if you're going to be talking to other guys... You know, the way that she was, obviously we're gonna get in fucking arguments. Um and but I, I treated her fairly good. Um I tried to I never I, I never raised my voice at her, never hit her, never I'm just gonna get all that on the line right now before she goes out and says any of that kind of shit. Never hit her, never raised my voice at her like that, you know, I never never like shook her, grab her, shook her, nothing like that. I was never aggressive. Um she likes to claim I was horrible. I was a horrible boyfriend. And, I mean, in her eyes, maybe I was. Fuck it, whatever. Um, but essentially what 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 crossed the line was um, when I had to kick her out. She was uh, went to her 
parents' house for Thanksgiving. And um, I had seen that somebody from her work was texting her and saying, oh, I think you're cute and blah, 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 blah. And just like I said, instead of defending my name and, and defending the fact that she was in a relationship, she was like, oh, okay. Um, and then continued to text him or whatever the fuck she said. I, I don't care. Um, but I found out about it and I, I was like, oh God, I've been dealing with this forever. But it, you know, it, it never seemed to go further than that. So, you know, I texted her about it and I was, you know, I let her know I was obviously upset about it. I was pissed off. Um, but that I probably wouldn't be texting her for the rest of the day. I'm going to go off and do my own thing and, and cool off. Um, I then seen messages that she had sent to somebody who lives down there, an old friend of mine, or friend if you can call him a fucking friend, um, claiming that she said she couldn't wait to come down there and surprise him for Thanksgiving. Um, like I said, I didn't tell her who she could and could not talk to. I merely made suggestions to keep our relationship alive. I told her I really don't want you talking to him. Um... You know, he's no good for you. He's no good for our relationship. He tries to break us up constantly. You know, he said lies about me that weren't true. Um, and that broke us up. But then we got back together. Um, and I thought it was going to change when we moved down here. It didn't. You know, she said, I can't wait to come and see you uh, for Thanksgiving. Surprise you for Thanksgiving. And, um, you know, they had some bullshit conversation. And then she was like, yeah, I want to listen to music, cuddle, and then a little more. Um it doesn't take a fucking rocket scientist to figure out what a little more is. Um, whether it happened or not, I know for a fact that she saw him. Um, and that just stepped over the line for me. You're not going to have, you're not going to be with me and, 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 you know, the way you treated me for seven fucking years. You're not going to be with me and then expect me to pull up, put up with some shit like this. So I kicked her out. And that person is Azim. Um, those of you might know that name. Um, they are from ANC Covers. I'll go. I'll go check them out real quick. Um, ANC Covers. Well, now it's just Charlie Entertaining. Um, as you can see, there is the end of ANC Covers and whatnot. Um, so they continued to do ANC Covers afterwards because I told Charlie I was like, "Look, it's cool. You know, it is what it is. It's your life. You do what you want to do." But he told me if I ever find out that they're hanging out again, then uh. I'm not going to be friends with him no more. And uh, I heard to the grapevine um, from somebody that he hangs out with that they were hanging out again. And um, I'm really upset and I'm really pissed off because uh, my own brother couldn't believe me. For seven years, nobody fucking believed me. You know, I told them the things that she would do. Uh, nobody believed me. So I never really had anybody to have my back when, uh, when it came time to just kicking her the fuck out. And now... You know, I, I find out that she's hanging out with Azim again, and, um, yeah, no, I'm not, uh, I wasn't happy, and, uh, I told him he didn't believe me, I had to go, I had to get proof, I had to literally fucking get proof for him to believe me, um, which is fine, you know, it is what it is, I... It is what it is, um, you know, I had... Once he finally believed me, he cut off the ties with um with him, and um you know he was upset, and uh, I'm upset because not only did my own brother not believe me, but my situation that I'm going through with I don't really care about her anymore, you know. I treated her fairly well, and she dogged me. Um, you know, I stayed loyal to her, never texted any other chicks and whatnot. You know, I did what a, what a man is supposed to do, and I, I, I paid bills and got her what she wanted. Um, and she dogged me. You know, I got played. That's my fault. Uh, I should have, you know, like I said, I should have seen it from the jump. But, um, you know, it is what it is. Uh, but I know now that he has to go through a situation similar to what I what I'm going through right now. I come home and I sit down alone. I stare at the wall until I find something to do. And I just think, constantly overthink. Um, I have places that I want to be in life. I'm not there. You know, my, my expectations for myself are way up there. And I'm, 
I'm way down here. I'm not where I want to be. It upsets me every day. It kills me. It kills me every day. I wake up. Um. But, and, and, you know, I know he has to go through that now. Alone. Um. And I know how it feels. Because I do it every day. And, um. It's going to suck. It's going to suck for him. But, um. Essentially, you know, oh, that's that's him right now. Um, you know, she dogged me, you know, with the other half of ANC covers. Um, and now they're no longer ANC covers. Um, I'm sorry, you know, I just, I couldn't be in a relationship where you're going to talk about, you know, banging some other fucking dudes, whether it happened or not. I mean, that's fucking disrespectful. That's a whole nother line of disrespectful. And then she had the audacity. The audacity to text my brother and tell him that she was a great girlfriend. A great fucking girlfriend. To me. And I didn't know that great girlfriends text other guys about fucking and cuddling and all doing all this kind of shit. I didn't know great girlfriends let other guys, you know, talk about wanting to take them on days and fucking them. And then instead of being like, oh, I have a boyfriend, you're like, oh, you know, that sounds that sounds pretty good. Every time we got in an argument about her texting other people or whatever the argument might have been about, she would just go and then do that. You know, she was uh, an attention whore, I guess you could say, you know, but that's what they call them nowadays, attention whores. So all she wanted was attention. If I wasn't giving it to her, she was going to go seek it from somebody else. Um, obviously, again, I should have seen that from the jump, but, uh, I'm a fucking idiot, I guess, you know, um, so I'm dealing with a lot of pain, a lot of grief, um, like I said, uh, we all go through, you know, I've said it before, we all go through our own battles, um, but I feel like it's not fair if, uh, you know, I'm, if I'm not giving 100%, and I feel like I should let you guys know, um, Yeah, that's, that's pretty much it, man. You know, happiness comes in. <sighs> happiness comes in moments. It really does. Whether you're, um, whether you're with friends or, or watching my videos or looking at old pictures and a smile cracks across your face or a laugh might come out. Those are just small moments of your life. The rest of your life, you're kind of aimlessly wandering around trying to find a purpose. You know, what do you want to do in life? You want to have a family? You want to do this? You want to do that? And um, it's something that a lot of us go through daily. You know, our mundane in and out lives. And they don't even really recognize that they, they could care less. Um, or they just tend to tune it out. I can't do that. Um, Like I said, I've had fucking expectations up to the roof and I'm I barely left the floor. So they didn't want to address it in their video. Um he knows what he did. Um you know, he can man up to it. Uh those are his decisions in life. I really don't care what anybody has to fucking think anymore. Um I don't I don't bite my tongue. Um and it'll it'll probably get me fucking killed one day and uh if it's my time to go, it's my time to go. But, um, shout out to anybody who's made it this long through the video. You, uh, you now know what is wrong with me, mentally. Um, and, uh, you know what's been wrong with me the last past couple of days. I had just gotten over, you know, well, not just. I'd been over for a couple of weeks or so, but, you know, this whole thing cropped up. And I'm just, I'm making this video to show my support, at least to my brother. Um, I'm sorry, I can't, there's snakes in the grass, you know, throughout your entire life, I can't, I can't give support to a snake, you know what you did, you know, you man up to, to, to your decisions, um, and, uh, if you continue to pursue that, bro, I know you might not even be watching, but she gonna fuck you over, she fucked over everybody she's come across, sit down and think about that for a second, everybody she's come across. My ass. Seven years almost. Seven years I did what she wanted. She dogged me. Now, now I need to move on. 
Um, shout out to anybody who's made it this far in the video. Um, don't worry about me. I'll be fine. Um, I really didn't want to make this video because, you know, everybody has things on their plate that they deal with. And I didn't want to have to, like, make a sad video and kind of add to your plate potentially, you know. It's, it's in my fucking name, Solely Entertainment TV. You know, this channel is for only entertainment. Um, whether I be making a joke about the coronavirus or Chinese people or white people or whatever the joke might be about. It's all jokes. It's all satire. No matter what the joke is. You know, jokes about fucking anything. It's all jokes. Because um, it's for only entertainment. But, you know, I, I had to address this video. I had to address this problem. Um, it's unfortunate the way things have gone. Um, like I said, there's snakes in the grass at every turn throughout your life. So constantly reevaluate your friendships. Um, make sure whoever is speaking into your life is not dragging you down. Um, Make sure they are they are helping you get up to where you want to be and um, and whatnot. So you know, I don't even I don't even know how to end this video. Um, I'm not gonna ask for likes. I'm not gonna ask for subs or comments. Um, if you've made it this far, at least comment that you've made it this far. Um, that would be nice to know, um, just so that way I can see who is who is watching this far and fuck it. Um, thank you guys for watching. Um, like I said, don't worry too much. I don't want you guys to be concerned. I'll get over this. Um, Charlie, I love you, bro. Uh, you know, you're my brother. I'll always love you, no matter what happens. Um, and you'll get through it. You know, things will be alright. Things will be okay.